Hello there. Welcome to Delight Channel Development, Empowerment and Leadership Initiative. This is an NGO with a vision of world transformation, one man at a time, one community at a time. This week, we bring our conversation on change and change management to a close. This conversation started a couple of weeks back, I think six or seven videos, where we dealt and dwelt extensively with change and change management from the organizational perspective. What we tried to do last week was to do a very short video just to apply those learnings to the individual. Now, like I promised last week, I have for you this week a story, a story that many of you may have been familiar with. If you have heard it or read it before, I'm sure you'll enjoy watching it briefly again. If this is new to you, you need to get the story book. You need to get the book. It's a very short book, very nice, very easy read. We will be sharing it on our Telegram channel and you can also find it readily available free online. The title of the story is Who Moved My Cheese by Spencer Johnson. And um, shortly after now, I will be showing you an illustration by 1% Better just to recap that story in a few minutes. But I will still encourage you to read the book. But as you watch this illustration, there's a question I want you to please have at the back of your mind and ask yourself, which of these characters are you? Yes, that's the question you need to answer. Because at the end of the illustration, I will come back to do a quick debriefing and recap. And with that, we will land this conversation and move on to the next bus stop. Enjoy the watching. Who Moved My Cheese is a fable about four characters who live in a maze and they all love cheese. When the cheese disappears, Scurry and Sniff enthusiastically head out into the maze to find new cheese. On the other hand, Hem and Haw feel betrayed and complain. They waste their time and energy hoping the old cheese will return. Haw realises the old cheese won't return, so he sets out into the maze in search for new cheese. He writes what he learns on the walls, hoping that Hem will follow him. Eventually, he discovers new cheese and sees that Scurry and Sniff were already there. Cheese is a metaphor for what you want to have in life. It could be a good job, loving relationship, money, or health. The very core message of the book is this. Things constantly change, so we must adapt. The quicker we adapt to change, the more satisfied we'll be. With that said, let's cover the key lessons by looking at a real life scenario. Tim was an author and sold books on Amazon. He got paid $5 every time someone bought his book. This was his cheese. He loved his cheese. But recently, Amazon made a change to their way of paying authors. They introduced a new program called Kindle Unlimited, where customers could download his book for free. The catch is that he only got paid for the amount of pages that customers read. He didn't like this. His sales were dropping. He got angry at Amazon for taking his cheese. He spent weeks sending nasty emails to Amazon about why they should give his cheese back and complaining to his friends. And then there was Dave. He was an author as well. Instead of complaining, Dave sought out new cheese. This brings us to lesson one. Change happens. They keep moving the cheese. Dave accepted that change is inevitable. Amazon is constantly updating their business systems to meet the demands of their customers. Lesson two. Anticipate change. Get ready for the cheese to move. Dave expected things to change, so he was not surprised when Amazon changed their payment system. Lesson 3. Monitor change. Smell the cheese often so you know when it's getting old. Dave was able to anticipate change because he kept up with the latest news about Amazon. He talked with other authors and paid attention to the frequent emails Amazon sent him. Lesson 4. Adapt to change quickly. The quicker you let go of old cheese, the sooner you can enjoy new cheese. Dave knew that hanging around and complaining would not change Amazon's payment system, so instead he quickly adapted to the change. Lesson 5. Change. Move with the cheese. To adapt to the change, Dave thought of ways to boost his sales with the new payment system. 
Through brainstorming and creative thinking, he was able to come up with several techniques that would encourage the reader to read more pages in his books. One technique was to combine books that weren't selling into one that was. That way, the reader was likely to read everything. As a result, his sales began increasing again. Lesson 6. Enjoy change. Savour the adventure and enjoy the taste of new cheese. Dave was happy that his work paid off. His success didn't end there. He created an online course to teach people how they could adapt to Amazon's new payment system and it sold like hotcakes. Okay, so, did that stir anything at all in you? I mean, having read this book and used it severally in different change engagement, it's always a very interesting watch or read for me. And so I asked that question again, which of these characters are you? Yes, are you him, are you her, are you Sniff, are you Scurry? Whichever one you are, you now need to answer the next question, which is, now that you know, which of these characters would you rather be? Have you decided? Are you clear? Because change can be less painful, can be less, can be less tortuous, can be less scary and it is now more so needed if you have to keep dealing with it time and time and time and time again so stop running open up yourself to it and like the six lessons that we learned lesson one change happens you can't run away from it it's part of life lesson two anticipate change this is where the mindset thing comes from wake up every day get ready for the fact that what was yesterday may not be today and tomorrow may not be like today once you anticipate it it is less of a surprise you are more ready to deal with it and ride with it and flow with it lesson three monitor it it's not a straight line where computers were invented, the idea was that, oh, printer was going to die, that we will not have to print again because all the communication were going to be electronic. But what have we found? Computer has actually made us do more printing. So you need to get ready for it and monitor the change. Lesson four is that adapt quickly to it. Uber has come, Airbnb has come, um, digital, digital photography has come. A lot of things will still come you need to learn to adapt to it quickly. But the one I love most is lesson five, which says change. Don't just love it, don't just anticipate it, change. Be ready to identify this has to drop, this has to come on. This has to change, this has to remain. You must change. Don't just let it be out there external. Change and then enjoy it. It is that enjoyment of the change that makes it lasting. It is the enjoyment of the change that helps you to internalize the lessons such that when you need it next time, you are able to pick it up and apply the same lesson. So it's been an exciting session running this change and change management series. It is something I believe you will find a lot of value from. So I invite you to please Take time at different times. Just go back and watch and watch again the Who Moved My Cheese book. Read it time and time again. It helps you to find a mirror, to look at yourself, and thereby do whatever you need to do to continue on your journey to be the person that you are trying to be. Thanks for being here as usual. And um, I look forward to seeing you next week. Don't ever forget that T Mark is still my name. And all I'm trying to do is what? make a little difference. I'll be glad to see you next week. Bye.